What's going on? It's your boy Goldie back at it again with another video. We jumping into it today. Here at the auction again. Picked up a, uh, what year is it? 06, 2006 BMW 330i. Picked it up for, after fees, it was a uh, 13.40. Won the bid for 10.50. So I'm uh, waiting on it to be brought out. Waiting on it to be brought out right now, and I'll cut y'all back on when when I get it. And I'll let y'all know how I did today. I'm waiting on them to come out. Ain't no telling where he's at. I ain't even see the car where they took him. But no point of leaving y'all on this whole time. I'ma um, I'm gonna just cut it off real quick and cut it back on once once he gets over here. And here he goes. Uh, gave it to him. The last sixty-three fifty-two. All right, y'all. So I'm rushing to the gas station right now, cause as you can see, it ain't got no gas in it. So I'm gonna try to make it. Ooh, this thing's swervy. May need an alignment, but it's shifting all gears. It's gonna make somebody a cool little uh, little get around car for the low. So I'll cut y'all back on once I get to the gas station. Hopefully, I can make it there. All right. So first impression of the car, it's a little slow to uh, to get up to speed, but there is a check engine light. So let's see. It's not flashing or anything, so it should be good. I'ma just uh Yeah, I'll, I'll cut y'all back on yeah, once I get back to the house. I'm gonna make, uh, make this 30 minute drive and I'll let y'all know how I do. But so far so good. Just cut y'all back on real quick so you can see. 80 miles an hour, you know it's not a problem. Just cruising, this car is good. No complaints here. All right y'all, so made it home. Made a, uh, a couple other stops too. Um, check the check engine light. It's It says it's a misfire for, or it says it's a misfire in cylinder five. So it's more than likely an ignition coil or uh, spark plugs. I'm gonna do the plugs and change that coil that's going to that um, cylinder and see where we're at. Hopefully it's not anything worse than that, but because it's running pretty smooth right now, but it only uh, hesitates on acceleration. So I'm leaning towards spark plugs. But, pretty clean nonetheless I bought some coolant because they said it was low so I just bought some just in case I don't have any here I want to say the AC works cold. I hadn't had a chance to fully dry it out yet. But luckily, if you hadn't seen last week's video, go ahead and check it out. At least this car came with a battery. I turned on the AC and it's starting to surge. So, yep, it's more than likely. 
It was at this moment that he knew that he fucked cool. up. Searching, and I'll cut it back on once I actually do some work. Um, might not do anything today. I'm not sure yet. Um, uh, I kind of want to just go source uh, some parts, but I'm gonna look at it first under the hood and see what it looks like. Cause who knows? Somebody could unplug something. They do that. So I'm gonna check that out before I start going to spend some more money, and I'll get back to y'all. Two thousand years later. All right, y'all, another day, another dollar. Ooh. I don't know if I see shows or not, but if not, I'll get it ahead. But another day, another dollar. Got the parts, I'm gonna go switch it out. Um, I'm gonna start with cylinder number five and just go from there and just see if that helps. And then if it does help, then I'll do the rest of them. But if it don't help, then I'll go from there. But, um, I had to wait for the parts to get here. Came super fast, but let's get to it. All right, so I noticed that the battery was dead. So I'm gonna have to look for my jumper. And hopefully I'll be able to get to it. All right, so here we are. Gotta get this torques off so that now I can somebody already messed with it I guess but I mean I know I had already took the cap off but yeah gotta get this torques and then get to it all right so I got the got everything taken apart got everything taken apart and I got the coil pulled and this is always, I mean, it kind of fell apart. And there's some writing on here. I don't know if y'all can see it. Does that say soon or, I don't know. Maybe they're telling them that they're gonna have to change it soon. But that's the exact coil. That the, uh, that's the exact cylinder that it was throwing. So, I don't know, fingers crossed. But I'm finna put the new one on. And go get a battery. All right, go grab a battery from another car and see if that, oh, change the plug, of course. So I'm already here. So yeah, then I'll cut it back on and then I'll let y'all know. All right, y'all, so it's my first startup. Just, oh, it's not gonna jump. Come on. I think I might have to actually switch the battery. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it in. Oh. All right, rigged up the battery. Damn, that ain't gonna work. And now the key's stuck too. I'll cut your back on. Uh, Y'all ain't gonna get the first startup, I guess, on camera, or maybe, or we'll see. see what it's gonna do. Well, actually, let me cut it off. All right, let me put some coolant in it. All right, so, I don't know. You know, these BMWs are weird. <laughs> I had to cut it off again and then start it up, and now it's running smooth. Good. I am 
going to change the rest of them now since I know that that fixed it. And then we'll go from there. All right, y'all. So pretty much got everything buttoned up. I uh, left the valve cover or the, the engine cover um, off so then that way I can degrease it and clean it up a little bit. There it is. It's just super, super grimy. So I'm going to clean it up, detail the engine bay a little bit when I do the whole car. But that's that. As you can hear, it's running exactly how it's supposed to. AC actually did uh it is ice cold once I put the coolant back in I had to add like I had to add like a half a gallon of coolant but it wasn't empty so that's good but like I said the AC is ice ice cold I've been letting it run for like the last at least 20 minutes it could have been a lot more but I'm gonna just say 20 minutes to be you know but there's the uh there's the idle, the throttle response. It's almost instant. So, there we go. All right, y'all, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like what you're seeing, go ahead and turn on the post notifications, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button because it helps me with the algorithm. You know, I'm trying to get back started back up. I am going to be a lot more consistent with you guys. You guys just got to show me that you are watching. And I'll, I'll get back into it. But until the next time, we out. Be easy.